I'm Nathan Schneider, and I teach in media studies at the University of Colorado Boulder. Here in the United States, I think we've seen tremendous change happen in the last five years that we've been working to build with our international friends and allies, uh, this platform cooperative movement. Uh, when we got started, it often felt like we had to convince people that there was a problem with the structure of the online economy. It doesn't really feel like that anymore. Uh, the CEOs of tech companies keep getting dragged in front of Congress. Um, the 2016 election awakened a lot of people to some of the uh, deep systemic issues going on. And as a result, I think there's a great deal more craving for uh, alternatives and for real policy change. There's an appetite in, in, uh, in Washington, uh, around the country, for uh, the real policy changes that we need. And that's, that's good news for uh, our community because so far still, uh, uh, the fledgling new platform co-ops are still struggling to get off the ground. They're competing in an economy that is tilted against them, that is designed for investor ownership and investor power. And uh, we need to make sure that we have the policy tools uh, and the power, the economic power, uh, to make sure that these kinds of models can really get off the ground and that they can become the norm, that democracy can become the norm in the online economy. I keep thinking back to uh, uh, moments like the mid-1930s when, uh, through federal policy, cooperatives enabled rural America to go from just 10% electrified to nearly all electrified. Uh, we need that kind of level of ambition if we're going to reshape the, the online economy with democracy. Uh, I think that's our next step, to recognize how profound our challenges are, but also uh, the kind of opportunities that uh, uh, we can unlock when we, uh, when we uh, take up that kind of ambition that cooperative movements in the past have had uh, for themselves.